this new line of dolls that has everything to do with boys. Yes. I love Ken in all his different <laughs> shapes and sizes and colors. Dina, what are yeah. we looking at? So we're talking about the new Ken doll lineup, ladies and gentlemen. This is all part of Barbie's fashionista line. So there are already some Barbie dolls. Now there are some Ken dolls added to the mix. I love that. Um, yeah, so they have the most diverse line, says Mattel. Uh -huh. Here is what they've got. They have three body types, these men. So they have... Look at them coming a little with the body skinnier, types. Skinnier, a little thicker, <laughs> and then an original. Uh, they also have seven, seven skin tones. Seven, I like that. Seven tones. <laughs> seven <laughs> tones. Seven, seven. Do you guys know what that's from? No. Friends. No. no? <gasps> Friends. Did anyone get the reference? Monica. No. All seven. I know is smelly cat. Oh, smelly okay. cat. Sidebar. Oh. If you remember, if you know what I'm Seating. talking about, type seven in the comments. Okay. okay. And then also nine different hairstyles, and that does include. Yes, the man bun. They're so smart. They're mm -hmm. so smart. How much, Dina? Okay, so, th you know, we found these for like nine ninety five. Yeah, which is weird because I, I thought Barbies were more. Well, so that's I'm Barbies. thinking maybe these Pens? are little. Maybe these are like a smaller doll. But why can't the guys just be a little cheaper? Because, you know, if you're a little girl, you're not necessarily well, wanting the Well, the girls' fashionista are the same price. Oh, this one says thirty four ninety. Who oh. is he? Oh, okay. On the Target website, okay. they were like Target eight selling. Bucks. So maybe it is a little mini oh, Ken. Oh, that's an ad for something else, says our producer Billy. <laughs> okay, a little deceiving. Either way though, GMA launched this exclusively this morning. Okay. And so if you go to my Facebook page after Extra Shot, of course, we're going to have the whole video there. Great. Um, but yeah, so they're saying that he gets a little hipster makeover and um, it's definitely keeping up with the times, right? They, yeah. they transformed Barbie last year. Mattel got the most diverse line of dolls after they launched all the different shapes and sizes and colors and figures of Barbie doll. Kay. So now they're trying to come out with Ken to do the same thing. Parents, what do you think? Non-parents, okay. what do you think? Can we talk about the cacti? Well, wait, yeah. the oh, man one Barbie man has his boy? eyebrows arched as well. He does. They're, they're perfectly <laughs> manicured and groomed. He Can looks I tell like you, polka dots. I mean, this husband's... is really stepping up the bar for style for men. You need to look to these Ken dolls if you mm -hmm. want to step out the door looking stylish. It's true. I'm all about it. I'm going to pull up all of the different shapes and sizes and looks because I think our husbands are represented <gasps> in this. Are they? Um, there was definitely a, little a Caesar. Caesar. There was a Caesar. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a, Caesar has a goatee or a beard? Uh, he has a full on beard. The Drake, you know, the fade out from mm -hmm. the Hair to the beard okay. mustache. Uh, so, Barbie uh, Caesar does not have a beard. Okay, shout out to Michelle Apon who said this. Well, maybe there are uh, attachments. So you can get like a beard <laughs> and mustache attachment. This is this is the one that looks like Megan's husband Caesar. <gasps> there's little, there's, I said little, there's little Caesar. You know, little there's like big bigger? Caesar. Yeah, he needs bigger arms. But yes, for the most part, that C is, the, the jeans are really Is skinny. he wearing a shoe boot? <laughs> look at that. Yeah, that's a little boot. And look, are the sleeves rolled, that plaid? Yeah. OMG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he needs some facial hair. <laughs> he needs some C's, facial hair, but the color, C's. the color of the skin tone yeah. is there. And then so I'll show you my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see Robbie. <laughs> but does Robbie have a man bun? <laughs> no man bun, but the skinny legs. This, okay, the we're looking at body sizes. <laughs> and Robbie has a huge mustache beard combo as he well. Does. He does. Yeah, yeah. The so attachable beard. That's, that's my thing. only issue with it. Yeah, Ken doesn't, there are no Kens with facial hair. <laughs> They'll get there. Maybe. They'll, They'll totally get there. Get if there. they have the man bun, They'll get the they facial have hair. to get the beard, goatee yeah. slash chin strap. <laughs> Taking this conversation <laughs> to another level, Please. do you think that? But yeah, we're, we are <laughs> going no, nowhere. Do you think that Mattel needed to go there when it comes to males and body image? Is it? Are they doing that for the male? Are they doing that for the female? Who's their audience? Well, did they even go there though? Because there's not really a chunky I don't see Ken. There's not a boy with the flat. Yeah, there's the original, but right. Ken ain't thick in the thighs. You, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As compared to, <laughs> there was a curvy Barbie. Right. Right. And they made it, she wasn't fat or overweight. Right. They just made her a Normal. little curvier. Like Most a little curvier. representing right. what's in yeah. The so world. they didn't give us a, a thick Ken, which, uh -huh. you know, I would have liked to see. Well, this one has some more arms. Yeah, buffer. He's swollen. Look at like, my, look he's at Robbie. Buff. Look Clarence at is buff. Clarence, Clarence is black. Look at my husband. Just randomly named his arms are. Right? Very, Skinny yeah, Robbie. Thin. And then Clarence. And then the middle guy has, he has some swole too. Ken Carson. Soup cans. Soup cans, yes. I see Ken Carson on the bottom here. Is that. Is Ken's last name Carson? Oh, wow. Know. Is that his name? Or does is anyone know? Mark Shall S. We? Allen. Hmm. Um, Lisa McKnight, Barbie Senior Vice President and GM, said, okay. by continuing to expand our product line, we are redefining what a Barbie or a Ken doll looks like to this generation. Okay. So it's not necessarily a representation of each and every you know, person who's going to buy, they're, they're probably not going to buy all, all seven of the new Barbie dolls, but maybe Unless they might spot right? one and say, hey, that looks more like 
my brother or cousin or dad or yeah. friend at school, and so they might attach themselves to one. Yeah, which is exactly with, Barbie. with Barbies. It's what mm -hmm. we do. It's what we did as kids with Spice Girls. You know, I was always because there wasn't a Latina representation. It was always, oh, I'm Scary Spice. Mm. You know, but it was mm -hmm. always like that with your group of friends. Baby Spice, who we know is coming out as a judge on a new show here on yep. ABC. Boy band. Which Boy we're band. Going to talk about at nine too today. Yes. Um, I you was know, sporty spice. You were always sporty, sporty spice? Okay. I wanted to be sporty spice. But it always had to do aesthetically, right? Yeah. It had to do with the aesthetics of the different characters. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think this is a long time coming from Mattel oh, and for Ken. The fact that we haven't heard much about this mm -hmm. um, since before this launch, I think says something, you know, about about our culture. It's that the focus is when it comes to aesthetic to aesthetics on women because like you had said the other day Kanil, you brought this up and i thought it was interesting that women dress for other women mm -hmm. right so we're looking at each other yes we're certainly looking at the way a man looks when we get into relationships mm -hmm. sure it's the first thing are they appealing to the eye what's the sex drive there when it comes to to the aesthetics but there isn't as much pressure do you agree or, or am i speaking I do, out of well, i do agree that there isn't much pressure but men do have to deal their with their insecurities uh, as you well know, with body issues as yeah. well um especially with the trend of getting fit now mm -hmm. you have a lot of people on instagram facebook twitter uh in the gym working out keeping fit drinking kale smoothies so you it, yeah. there's a movement to now try to keep yeah. up but is that for the women or do men do it for other men uh -huh. You know what? Uh -huh. We'll have to ask men out but there. You, what do you uh, think? I think it's. I think men do it for women, but I do have a couple of guy friends who, now that their homeboys are getting fit, they're feeling away. They're like, oh, you. So now, so 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 and so has a six yeah. pack, and I'm out here with the regular bod. I got to do something. Right. So it's mm -hmm. a, maybe it's a competitive thing. Mm -hmm. But just going back to the Barbie, I'm, you know, like Megan said, this is a long time coming, and there's more competition with dolls. So That's Barbie has going. to keep up. Now you can go to the store and there's it's just not Barbie and Cabbage mm -hmm. Patch like there was back in right, the day. Right. When I was growing up, there was a Kenya doll. That was the only doll of color. And she had three different shades. And most of the times, the two other shades weren't available. There was just <laughs> one shade that you had to get. So <laughs> that was it. So like, Barbie doll. has to do, well, to do this. And that's where I was going to go next. I think as much as I think that they're playing to our current you know, world and the right. diversity of all of us, especially right here in America, we're a melting pot. But I think this is great marketing, I talk about it all the time, by Mattel. Because oh, yeah. they haven't had a new Barbie launch in about a year, and before that it was some time. And I think that this is a great way to stay relevant. I think it's keeping them in the headlines. We're talking about them. So is it more for their own marketing? Also with you know the fact in mind that they're trying to cater to a wider audience? Sure. But yeah. as a parent, I'm curious to see... You know, would you just let your sons and daughters go to the aisle and pick whatever they want now? Because there's going to be a whole array of dolls. Or if you're going to get one for your child, are you going to get one to match what you think they look like? Or somebody in their life that's a father figure looks like? I'm, I'm just curious or to, to see teach who them it's going to go to. diversity, you know, to say that you don't always have to go for the one that, you, looks, that like looks like you. Like, mm -hmm. why is it that you like that one? Is it just skin color? Let's look a little deeper. You know, do you like... Um, I don't know the way this body is because they look healthier to you or do you like the clothes that this one's wearing like it's more than just the color of the skin mm -hmm. and the color of the hair so I think this could be a good uh, lesson you know that parents can go and implement these dolls in this sort of hey this is what culture and diversity looks like mm -hmm. well let's get in on it you know yeah. I think anytime you have more options mm -hmm. it's always a good thing it's yeah. always a good thing I want to Talk about what some of you are saying. Yes. Thank you for chiming in right now. Stacy Chan, man bun has to go. <laughs> oh, Stacy. But wait, like we had a bun? comment that said her son has a man bun. Where, where, what happened to it? Oh, sign oh. of the time, Stacy says. Katie says my son has a yeah, man bun. Yeah, there she is. Katie's son has a man bun. Okay, yeah. Katie Contreras. We <laughs> show us love to the man bun. Yeah, I think man buns, obviously, they've been trendy for a hot minute now. The fact that Mattel is saying, yes, we're going to throw a bun on one of our boys. Would this have happened five years ago? Mm -mm. We wouldn't have seen the man. No. Bun. No. So um, maybe quickly, it won't last I want to give a shout out to Sarah and Corey yeah. for knowing my friend's reference. Thank you. <gasps> oh, she said seven? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. You Just can explain to, to me after. <laughs> uh, Stacy also saying if they really want to be accurate, they need to give him a beard, make him skinnier, and wearing leggings. <laughs> maybe those are the kind of men she's coming, right? coming by lately. Um, men in leggings. Katie says, too, glad they're still making these male dolls look yeah. like men. So, okay. you know, maybe we're a little worried that they might start to go off a certain path. But Katie says, I was worried 
what I was going to hear this morning. But they, I mean, but then we they can that take it all kinds of ways yeah, because and men like, wear makeup too. Yeah, and that, then that, that opens up the conversation of masculinity because yes. masculinity is defined by the actual person who's mm -hmm. walking in those that person's shoes. Confidence. There's no definition yeah. of masculinity. Yeah. So if you look at Prince, someone yeah, like Prince, Prince who wore a little hair exactly. and, and wore the makeup. He is to me one of the most sex appealing people in the music industry. Mm -hmm. uh, there was something about him yeah. that yeah, he wore makeup and yeah, he wore a little high heel, but you know what? He rocked it with so much confidence right. and his voice so powerful and just his stance on, I mean, you were a big Prince fan. You can oh, go yeah. in on this too. There was something sexy and masculine about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, this is the chest there But then I also in. like a Vin Diesel. Yeah, he's, he's masculine exactly. as heck. Mm -hmm. So masculinity, that's a good point. And yeah. where, can, where will Mattel take this next? Because there are gonna be little boys out there who, let's Pride Month, identify. Yeah in the mm -hmm. LGBT community identify as males, but they like to wear makeup. So does that make them less of a man? No. Yeah. We were just watching Ruben DeMade, who's this little 12 year old makeup artist. Uh, and who's the Ellen, cutest he was on Ellen kid. Tube and <laughs> Ellen basically helped to spring this little kid to fame. And he is the sassiest Confident. and most talented. Like I was learning about contouring from this 12 year old little boy going, that's how you do that? Oh, yeah. Like this face. Go check beat. him out. Look at him. And he's so young, what, 12 years old? 12, 12. Yeah, so young. And so I think it's important for companies as big as Mattel, who are the ones behind putting these mm -hmm. representations of us on the shelves. Oh, yeah. yep. They have a responsibility too. So I hope they take it to that next level. Yeah. Represent absolutely. all those gay boys out there too. Mm -hmm. I there love we go. that. Mm -hmm. oh, who wear makeup. And women, do. because will there be a, a woman Barbie who's a little more, who dresses uh, in back year clothes, maybe, you yeah. know, like just have different yeah. styles. Yeah, different yeah. style. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Good oh, question. All right, can we talk music now? Yes. Speaking of